Our remarkable planet is changing. For centuries we have dug deep into the earth. We have pulled out ancient fuels like coal and oil. These fuels powered our cities and our machines. They built the modern world we know today. But this came at a great cost. The air grew heavy, and the climate began to shift in dangerous ways. Now a new story is unfolding all across the globe. It is a story of hope, of cleverness, and of a return to the power of nature itself. A great green shift is underway, a quiet revolution that is as powerful as any storm. This revolution is not fought with armies or weapons. It is fought with sunlight, wind, and the rush of flowing water. People everywhere are looking up at the sky and feeling the breeze. They are realizing that the answers are not buried deep underground. The answers are all around us. Imagine a world where the air is fresh and clean. Picture cities where the electricity comes from the sun shining overhead. Think of vast landscapes dotted with graceful windmills turning silently in the breeze. This is not a distant dream from a science fiction story. It is happening right now. Nations both large and small are showing us what is possible. Let us travel north to the windy shores of Denmark. Here, the air is almost always moving. For generations the Danish people have lived with this wind, they have felt its power as it whips across the North Sea, instead of fighting it, they chose to embrace it. They saw the wind not as a nuisance, but as a gift from nature. Today, Denmark is a world leader in wind power. Giant, elegant turbines stand like gentle giants. Along the coastlines and across the rolling green fields, they are a common sight, as much a part of the landscape as ancient castles. These incredible structures are marvels of engineering. Their long white blades spin gracefully in the sky, catching the invisible currents of air. With every turn they generate clean electricity. This electricity powers homes, schools and hospitals across the country. Denmark now gets more than half of its power from wind and other renewables. On very windy days it makes so much energy that it can share it with its neighbors. This is a remarkable achievement. It shows how a small nation can have a huge impact. The secret to Denmark's success is not just technology, it is also about people. Many of these wind turbines are owned by ordinary citizens. Local communities came together to invest in their own clean energy. They saw it as a way to build a better future for their children and grandchildren. This sense of shared purpose created a powerful movement. It turned the challenge of energy into an opportunity for everyone to participate. The people of Denmark are not just consumers of power, they are creators of it, true masters of the wind. Their journey is a powerful lesson for the rest of the world. Now we journey south to the sun-drenched kingdom of Morocco. Here, on the edge of the vast Sahara Desert, the sun is not just a source of light and warmth, it is a powerful and relentless force. The skies are often cloudless, and the sunshine beats down with incredible intensity. For centuries this intense sun was something to be endured, people sought shelter from its powerful rays, but now Morocco is looking at its greatest natural resource in a new way, it is turning the blazing desert sun into a source of immense clean energy for its people. In the desert, near the city of Ouarzazate, something extraordinary has been built, it is a solar power plant so enormous that it can be seen from space, it is called the Noor Power Station and its name means light in Arabic. This is not a field of simple solar panels, it is a breathtaking sea of half a million curved mirrors. These mirrors are all positioned perfectly. They follow the sun as it moves across the sky, like a field of giant metallic sunflowers. They focus the sun's rays onto a central tower, creating unimaginable heat. This incredible heat is used to create steam, which then drives turbines to generate electricity. The technology is so advanced that it can even store the sun's energy. This means it can continue to produce power long after the sun has set, providing electricity through the night. The Noor Power Station is one of the largest concentrated solar plants in the entire world. It is a bold and ambitious project that has put Morocco at the forefront of the solar revolution. It is a symbol of a nation's vision for a sustainable and energy-independent future. Morocco's story shows us the sheer scale of what is possible. It proves that we can dream big when it comes to renewable energy. The country is not stopping here. It has plans to generate over half of its electricity from renewable sources very soon. By transforming its most abundant resource, sunlight, into clean power, Morocco is reducing its reliance on imported fossil fuels. It is creating jobs, powering its economy, and fighting climate change all at once. It is a shining example of how to turn a harsh environment into a source of hope. Our final stop takes us to the lush, green heart of Central America. Welcome to Costa Rica, a country teeming with life. 
It is a land of dense rainforests, roaring rivers and towering volcanoes that rumble with the Earth's inner fire. This small nation has made a big promise to protect its incredible natural treasures, and it is keeping that promise in a spectacular way. For years now, Costa Rica has been running almost entirely on renewable energy. It is a world champion of green living, showing everyone that it can be done. The secret to Costa Rica's success lies in its unique geography. The country is blessed with heavy rainfall which feeds a network of powerful rivers that flow down from the mountains. This makes it perfect for hydropower. Large dams have been built to harness the immense force of this flowing water, turning it into a steady and reliable source of clean electricity. This is the backbone of the country's power grid. But Costa Rica does not rely on water alone. It has another powerful ally in its quest for clean energy, the volcanoes themselves. Deep beneath the ground, the same heat that fuels the volcanoes creates pockets of steam. This is known as geothermal energy. Costa Rica has learned to tap into this natural power. It drills down into the earth and uses the hot steam to spin turbines and generate electricity, day and night. It is like having a natural power plant running continuously, powered by the planet's own internal engine. By combining the power of water, volcanoes, wind and sun, Costa Rica has created a diverse and resilient energy system. The people of Costa Rica have a deep respect for nature. Their national motto is Pura Vida, which means pure life. This is more than just a saying, it is a way of living. They have chosen to preserve their forests instead of cutting them down. They have chosen to use the gifts of their land for power instead of polluting it. For most of the year, every light bulb, every computer, and every refrigerator in the country is powered by 100% renewable sources. Costa Rica is living proof that a modern economy can thrive in harmony with the natural world. We have seen the towering turbines of Denmark, spinning in the sea breeze. We have marveled at Morocco's sea of mirrors, gathering the desert sun. We have explored Costa Rica, a nation powered by the very force of the living earth. These three countries, each so different, tell us the same powerful story. A cleaner, healthier world is not just a fantasy. It is being built right now, with human ingenuity and a deep respect for nature. They are showing us that the sources of energy we need are all around us, waiting to be harnessed. This global shift is the most important journey of our time. It is a move away from the destructive habits of the past and toward a future filled with promise. The Green Revolution is about more than just electricity. It is about cleaner air for our children to breathe. It is about protecting the magnificent diversity of life with which we share this planet. It is about creating a stable climate so that future generations can enjoy the same wonders that we do. The work of these pioneer nations gives us a clear and hopeful path to follow. The responsibility does not rest on their shoulders alone, it rests on all of us. The Green Revolution is not just for governments or large corporations, it is a movement that everyone can join. It can be as simple as saving energy in our own homes by turning off lights, it can mean choosing to walk or cycle instead of drive. It can mean supporting businesses and leaders who are committed to clean energy. Every single choice we make adds to a wave of change that is sweeping across the planet. The time for waiting is over. The time for action is now. Let us be inspired by the masters of the wind, the harvesters of the sun, and the guardians of the rainforest. We have the knowledge, we have the technology, and we have the examples of success. Let us all become part of this great green shift. Let us work together to build a world powered by the clean, endless energy of the sun, the wind, and the water. Our planet has given us everything we need. It is our turn to protect it.